Okay, welcome, welcome. I wanted to give you guys uh, a little preview of uh, my new Amiga emulator. Uh, shout out to a friend of mine who uh, we still remains anonymous, who uh, sorted out uh, the Amiga emulation for me. So I haven't played Amiga for a long time. You know, buy a few games that I tried. Uh, I know I've done a video of Body Blows and the Chaos Engine, but there's plenty of games here to try. So. Um, I just thought you know we'd do like a little Amiga playthrough so you can have a look at the front end that I've got and the emulation uh, and I've only got the Amiga games I haven't got the demos uh, we'll try and go through the games that you know maybe uh, I can recognize some let's remember a game called Hawkeye so uh, let's let's try and go to uh, let's see if Hawkeye is here because I had it on the Commodore 64 and I, and I really liked it uh, no, oh here it is, yeah, here we go. Okay, now I remember this game as a kid. Just, just it blew me away. It was amazing. Uh, probably isn't now. Let's check it. <laughs> okay, I do a fire. Where's the fire button? What do I jump on it? Okay, what's going on? How do I fire? Okay, space is suppose. Oh, he's firing. Okay. It's just the bullets as well. <laughs> you can't really see it. I remember. I remember the. I remember the, the the thing that made me buy this game for my C64 was a front cover. It was so cool. Like this hero just looked. He looked amazing, you know. And as, as as a little kid, I was like, yeah, this is the game I want. And and I do remember really really enjoying it. Um, but you know, if you are watching this video, comment below. Let me know because uh, you know I've got an Amiga series game. We've got. Well, I've done episode one and episode two. Episode one covered body blows. Um, episode 2 covered the Chaos Engine. Um, episode 3, I, f I think I'm going to have to do Supercars or Supercars 2. Uh, more likely Supercars 2. Um, you know, my, my friend that gave me this emulator, he 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 swears by uh, Supercars 1. But I always remember Supercars 2 being, you know, the main one that I liked. Okay. I mean, look at that. The, the animation is not bad of, of the guy running. Can I shoot those birds? Nah. Okay, I'm just just let go out of the screen. Okay. What do I do? Just keep going left to right? Okay. <laughs> those birds are still there. Can I... Nice, nice. Okay. Can I even jump up there? Come on. Okay, I can. Okay. Nice. Oh wow. <laughs> Where do I go? Hey man. Now um, I am playing this, um, I'll post a picture in the thumbnail, I'm playing this on uh, my GPD WinMax, it's so amazing how far technology has come in, so I'm playing this on a handheld Windows uh, 10 device with an 8 inch screen built in Xbox controller, uh, so I can't really play mouse games on this because I usually lounge about the house playing on this, but um, yeah technology just, it just amazes me you know how how far we've come you know this was this was like a prime home computer and now i'm just playing it in the palm of my hand let's try something else uh, i don't want to keep on talking so right here we are back on the games list let's see if anything actually um rings a bell okay uh anything here okay let's okay what's alien bash Hopefully it's not a pinball game. I mean, I don't mind pinball games. I don't fancy playing one now. Um, but yeah, so how far technology's come? Like, so I'm, I'm playing this in the palm of my hand. I mean, it's amazing. I've got the entire Amiga collection here. Uh, so a lot of the streaming I do, I, I, I sometimes do it on my laptop. Um, I haven't put anything on my desktop here for streaming, only because you know the laptop's quite easy to move around. I can, I can even take it to work, and you know if I've if I've got all my if I've got all my work done. Um, you know, I can have a little blast. I've got a cool boss at work, you know, as long as my work's done, I can kind of do what I want to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I stream on this quite a lot because sometimes I can just, I can just chill, you know, uh, and, and just try stuff out and, and stream some retro stuff or sorry, more like record the stuff now. I'm not really streaming so much now. All right, let's, let's leave this game. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, but yeah, man, like a, a amazing bit of kit, the GPD 
Win Max. That's it. I know they've released the Win 3, but the screen was too small. Um, I have ordered, ordered another one called the One X Player uh, on the Indiegogo, so that should be arriving next month. I will be trying stuff on that. Uh, I doubt I'll do Amiga stuff on it, though, only because, you know, it lacks a physical keyboard. It has got a keyboard attachment, but lacks the physical one. You know what? I swear I had loads of games for the Amiga. Coming here, I just don't don't remember that much. Obviously, who, who can ever forget Arkanoid? So, <laughs> looks nice. Okay. Come on. I'm, I'm mashing that fire button. Are you, are you not going to let me play? Okay. Let's press enter. Oh, you know what? This is probably with a mouse, which would make sense because... No, not working on mouse mode. Alright, let's exit this. I am I am new to Amiga emulation, so I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I'll, I'll try out. But you know what? Let's go. <laughs> let's go for Altered Beast. I know I'm trying out console games here, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to go for anything that I can remember. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I have to say, arcade version, Mega Drive version, look better. I'll tell you what's really awesome about having emulation is, if you remember correctly, ah, oh, I missed the first power up. If you remember correctly on the Amiga, all the platform games, or even even like this game here, to jump you had to move up. So with emulation, obviously, up is still up, but um, I've also made one of the buttons up, so. You know, I can I can jump pressing a button, which is which is just amazing. I mean, I re remember never being able to do that. So I guess this might change the way certain platform games are played uh, because you have got a dedicated button. All right, let's move on to something else. Um, yes, yeah, so if you, if you do like this content, um, you know. Do consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the Amiga series uh, where it's more games rather than me messing about and, and you guys looking at menus. Um, okay. Uh, I know Alien Breed was a, was a big game back then. Um, or oh, Another World, also known, uh, released for consoles, Out of This World. That, that was a cutting edge game when that came out. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. I mean, I remember the graphics for this. I was like, wow, like best thing ever. Uh, I think I first saw it on, uh, what? This is... Okay, uh, is this maybe an anti piracy measure? Okay, cool, all right. <laughs> Don't, we'll get back to that. Um, yeah, so I remember my uncle showing me this uh, on his Atari ST, and it, it was it was big. The graphics were were amazing when they came out. They 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 were without a doubt the best thing I'd seen at the time. You know, the animation, the graphics, uh, just how the game. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. Never finished it. Got difficult. Got difficult as it as it progressed. And I think Flashback was a game that came after that. Okay. Oh man, I remember Battle Chest. That was that was lovely animation from what I remember in that. Okay, Beneath the Steel Sky. We 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 know that game. Like you know, the point and click adventure. Do you know what a game I really did like was Buggy Boy. Was it out? I never had it for the Amiga. Yes, but I did, as I always keep saying. Uh, play it on my uncle's <laughs> Atari ST you know what this I just remember this game was amazing you could you, you race and, and you would hit like a football as you went along oh man look the graphics still look good I, was, I can I can actually have a button for accelerate now because obviously ups accelerate oh, look at that I used to love this game how amazing is that oh man you know what? <laughs> I think Michael's still got his ST. He's he's a big Atari fan. Like, uh, I think he's got like a a few Atari Lynxes in the house, and he has like every single game release for it. Um, 
and I know I know he was telling me he bought an Atari Atari ST and he bought if I remember correctly the monitor the Philips 8833 that was one where you could adjust the screen size it had like a couple of uh, knobs on it yeah look at that man I'm speeding up oh, wow good stuff come on come on where's the ball that that I go into and kick it and oh, when I say kick it as, as much as a car can kick a ball okay ah oh. <laughs> okay that was the end <laughs> we'll have to see the ball another day but you know what amazing can't believe it I haven't played that game since I was like 10 or something Okay, cannon fodder. I can't, I can't play any of the mouse games. I would, I would have tried that out because because I'm, I'm I'm kind of sitting down on the sofa, or it's in my lap. So, the another oh another game with, with a mouse I used to play was Syndicate. Man, how oh, what an amazing game! I'd say it was was one of was one of the best games I've ever played. Still lives uh, great in my memory with that Persuadertron, and, and you just get everyone on on, on your side. Anything here? Oh, what's Dark Seed? Rings a bell, or has it just planted a dark seed? A dark fort. Oh, look at that guy, man. What's that little alien skeleton hand doing to him? Ah, wow, it's probing something in his head. Okay, so he wakes up in his new house. But, oh, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> it's not going to be entertaining to watch. It's a long thing. You know what? Let's, let's go. There's no... Oh, okay, there's... Uh, So there's a bug in the emulator where I can't skip to the letter uh, M. Where's, where's, have we got Midnight Resistance? Yes, we have. Okay, this was good. This was in the arcade as well. I think it had a rotating stick. Oh, what's up? Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright, we, we, we won't pick anything. But I see the little cheats menu. Who, who remembers Ocean? Ocean were big. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do I, how do I aim so? I think you needed that rotating stick with this. Okay, so if I remember, before the main game starts, I'll, um, I'll be able to pick a weapon. And hopefully it will have this beat. Pick a weapon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Ups to jump. Imagine that. Like you can only can I, oh you can jump and shoot forward. Okay. So I'm still using the button as up, but it is like moving the joystick up. This is a game I really really liked when when I first when I first saw it. What's he gonna take? I'm John Rambo. Do you know what? the weapon I really liked in this was the was the flamethrower. Look at that! As I blame up here, <laughs> a guy just chucks a grenade at me. I think I might have the max amount of keys there. Oh man. No, 
I guess it's got, it's got that sonic effect, you know? You die, you lose, uh, instead of losing all your rings, you lose your keys. Ah, look at that, did you hear that? Pick a weapon. Come on, where's the flamethrower? Yeah, it's got to be that one fire, surely. These two keys. Yeah, that's all I need. Okay, nice, look at that. That's like a power up from Strider that went the, the one that goes around you. But um, yeah, I wish if I could leave you links to um, you know how to set up your own Amiga emulator. But I take no credit for this. Someone, someone done this for me. So uh, I literally know nothing about it. Uh, but I'm sure there's places out there, even you know Reddit uh, in the Amiga subreddit. How good is this? Is it, is it just going to burn it out? Oh, look at that. Nice. Very, very powerful. Okay, I've got the max amount of keys. because you kind of move it down and it doesn't always just lie down on the floor like that. All right, you know what, we'll, uh, we'll move on to something else. Let's see if anything, anything jumps out in the menu. Oh, Dragon's Lair. Remember those games? I was, I was never a fan of the Dragon's Lair games. Well, DuckTales. I did like DuckTales on the original Game Boy. I thought it was fantastic. You know, a shout out to the to the DuckTales remake that came out. Very true to the original, and as far as how, how you know how it played. Props out to the Pogo Stick. Okay, we're gonna go easy money. Oh, what? I'm investing here. You know what? Nah. <laughs> Here I was thinking it was a platform game. You know what? I'm a big, I'm a big Street Fighter fan. So uh, let's uh, let's look at some Street Fighter. I, I know it was bad. We're gonna look at it still though. Right, uh, ah, here we go. Oh, Street Fighter One. Right, uh, let's go straight to Street Fighter Two. Street Fighter 1 for another day. So um, I will be doing single games, looking at single games um, in the Amiga series. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's just bad. Let's have a look. A uh, good thing about this emulator is there's none of that disc swapping. It's all automatic. Uh, or at least you don't have to do it. Okay. Right. It'd be nice if I could start this game. So if I just press one, one player or two player, come on. So this is a bad. Okay, we'll go. We're gonna go Ryu, and we are fighting Edmund Honda. Ah, this talks. <laughs> oh, one button, one button, here I come. Was it two buttons? Oh, there is two buttons, okay. So I've got a second. Oh, this is bad. Okay, <laughs> that's me trying a hurricane kick. Do a fireball, man. 
And, and I don't think this is the Honda music on the stage. Come on, do it, Dragon. Now, now I'm mashing it. I don't know if you can hear me mash the pad on this thing. Look, this is bad. You know what? This is like even mo Oh, I've done a hurricane kick and I win the round. Ah, oh, look at that. Go, Ryu. You know, win, lose, whatever happens in this round, I'm up turning it off after this. This is this isn't even worth playing. <sighs> okay. Nah, that's enough of that. Bubble Bubble, the Amiga version? Oh no, hold on. You know what, I've got it. Let's have a look at Rainbow Islands because I remember that. That game being like epic. Oh, well, look at that. It's got cheats. If I ever want to go into it, we won't go into cheats now. Man, Ocean were big back in the day. Oh, credits. Oh, look at it. Okay, five is the most space bar for credits. It, hats off for making it intuitive. Oh man, look at that. And I've got a jump button. This this was this was amazing. And and from what I remember these this is um This is uh sorry. Uh, this is a, a follow-up to Bubble Bubble Bubble, I think. I think the guys are called Bubble and Bubble in this. Right, let's see if, uh, if I can make it to the first boss, which was a giant spider. Now, if I remember correctly, I did prefer two rainbows with the faster speed rather than three rainbows. The soundtrack for this game was good as well. Get that beehive coming for me. Yes. Oh no, I missed the yellow potion. I think that was a speed one. If I makes more rainbows faster. Oh, check out the soundtrack, man. Really good. I was very, very good at this game. Obviously, probably not the case anymore. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? This this game has aged well. Looks looks good. Oh, I remember that bird, goofy looking bird. Look at it. <laughs> oh, that that should be. Oh, no, come on. Get it, get it before it disappears. Yes. Two rainbows, yeah. So the yellow one. If I get one more yellow one, I'll, ah. Okay, that wasn't a boss spider. That was a little baby level spider. No. Die. Oh man, I suck. So, you could jump on it, yeah, that's it. And crush the enemies underneath by jumping on the rainbow. Oh, 
Ah, oh, but the faster one. Look at, look how fast that rainbow comes out now. So hopefully I'll get a red one along the line somewhere. Come on, red. Ooh, I don't remember what getting all the different. Uh, I don't remember uh, what you get for getting all the different coloured diamonds. Yes. Okay, so now we have two rainbows. There was a there was a limit to how many rainbows you could have on the screen, if I remember correctly. Can't remember what that was. Hence why uh, another reason why I prefer two rainbows over three. Morning, coming. Is this going to be a spider? Yeah, this is a spider now. Am I going to be able to beat it? Or is it going to end here? Yeah! <laughs> okay, spiders. And guys, sorry if I sound a bit tired. Uh, uh, I was working today, uh, had quite a long day at work. Um, things are getting, you know, things are getting busy now. Now, now the pandemic um, is is hopefully coming to an end. Okay. Let's, let's call that a let's call that a wrap for this game and let's do one more game and then wrap it up uh, for this video so yeah like i said if um if uh, you know you do like the content uh please consider subscribing you know drop a like drop a share all that good stuff uh, I will try and grow this channel with with you know random stuff to do with gaming. Uh, glad to do the Amiga stuff. It's just oh you know what? Another Capcom game. I'm too much of a Capcom fan. Let's not this. Let's just see if something jumps out of here. Should we try Gauntlet Two, Gauntlet Three? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go Gauntlet. US gold man <laughs> they weren't as good as ocean in my opinion okay you know this guy is an anti piracy measure here maybe don't know Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's look for international karate plus. <laughs> All right, would really, really like to make it to the bonus stage. Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Down back punch to the gut. <laughs> Oh man, I suck at this. But look at this, look at the animation, man. This is the wicked. Okay, turn around, punch something. Oh, look at that clean kick to the head. White is out. Let's try one more round, man. We want to get to kicking the bombs or the, or the, or the shield bonus stage. Dude, that, that was some good stuff, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, punch me. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Hoppe! Og oh, har den der på? Haha, <laughs> I come first. Come, give me a bonus stage now, I don't want to fight anyone. Yes, okay. <laughs> Look at that little head there, man. Oh, this game was amazing. Ah. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, let's uh, let's wrap things up. Um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, until next time. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'll be doing the Amiga series. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, check it out, man. And um, until next time, PCN out. Thanks, guys.